all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, chocolate just walked into the building. Chocolate <laughs> just walked into the building. This guy. What up, <laughs> boy? All gone, brother. All gone, brother. All for, bro. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. All for. My friend, my brother from the Gold Coast, you know what I mean? My Willy Gabbos in the building. Oh, boy. I wait, wait, wait. I get, I get, I get, I get applause for you. Wait, I get applause for you. Make I find the applause. Oh yeah, no, oh yeah, no. You're supposed to be a DJ. I guess, I guess, I, I get applause for you. Where the applause? Where the applause? Where the applause? I got. Oh yeah, look sharp, look sharp, look sharp, look sharp, look sharp. My God. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. My God, my God, my God. What's good? Okay, see, I know say you're the actor, and actors, mm-hmm. you guys always have monologues that you guys use on the rehearsal and stuff like that, right? It, it depends, yeah. Sometimes, it, it sometimes depends. we okay, didn't so prepare. I yeah. have one of my, I have one of my favorite monologues. Uh-huh. I don't know how to do it, but I have one of my favorite monologues, and I'll play it, and I'll see if you can, if you can guess it for me. All right, before we go. All right, try, try and make us see. Well, I don't know. All right, cool. Let's go. Listen to me. Can you hear? Yeah. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. about to give his uh, my name is Maximus speech. Yes. Yeah, yeah. My guy. Yeah, you yeah, know. That's it. Brother, like, by the way. Shout out to you. See the ladies going crazy, man. My oh, yeah, no. thanks for thanks for gracing us. Thank you very much. Bro, it's crazy, man. How you feeling? Are you hold, are you holding up with the whole situation with the world, isolation and stuff? Yo, it's not even the isolation, man. The, the isolation is like one thing, but for me the thing is like I'm trying to wrap my mind around this whole Bro, this is the new normal, you know. Yeah. Like this thing, I don't think people realize this. This thing isn't over anytime soon. Okay. It's not uh you know, be, you know, be only one week something that we're like we're about to be in this for a couple of weeks. So that's that's what I'm trying to wrap my my, my mind around. Not even the staying at home or the yeah. quarantine my, or the my isolation. Own, my own fear is how is it gonna end? Not even when is it gonna end? Like how is it? Gonna Very end? good, exactly. How? Exactly. Like how? So I've been asking people, and a lot of other people have the same the answers that I that I need. And I, it's crazy. Have you have you seen this new uh, videos going around the stories with the five G and stuff like that? They use yeah, 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 yeah. Do you believe yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I didn't believe it at first. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. But after watching it, the thing is, bro, like they 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 they're, they're making some good points, man. And like I don't. Feel like... mm. Okay, so it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if it's five G per se, but personally, me, I think there's something more to this than. Then we would know. We probably wouldn't know. Maybe like thirty years later, somebody will write some book about how. I did tell you. <laughs> yeah. I did tell you about yeah, about how so many people lost their lives, and it's crazy because people are actually dying, bro. And it's like, if, yeah. if that if if is if the five G thing is true, then let's just say some people are actually heartless that they don't mind that people would die so that technology can. No, but it's always been like that. It's always it's always it's always you know see the thing they want to say they won't contest the vaccines in Africa. Yo, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. People, people don't give a shit, man. As long as money they inside, like it's all. Like, bro, why would you no. want to choose Africa of all places? We don't need it. We have the lowest numbers of deaths and casualties for coronavirus. Yeah, but we're the and easiest to control. We're the easiest. You know, say if you come to Africa, you go somewhere. Let's say you go to the north and you give out even one k, one k. People will let you inject them, man. You know, yeah. nowhere else in the world can you get people. So that's why they want to come. But we don't go allow them. I did tell you. I you know, go go Salim, my brother. Okay, so for the fans that don't know you, 
let's 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 meet you now. Tell us where you grew up. Oh, yeah, uh, how how growing up was for you and all that kind of stuff. That's all. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, I was born in Ghana, so now where I start from. But it was it, it was it was a pretty normal childhood. That things didn't get interesting until I left Ghana. I went to I went to school in America. Now when now when the adventure starts, that's mm-hmm. when that's when things things got kind of interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a regular childhood. Went away for a while, and that sort of obviously it could change you small now because I was there. I was there for a while. Um, okay. okay. So that caused a lot of who I am, I guess. And I came back to Ghana. I, I did finance like business my entire life. So that, that, that was like, supposed to be the plan. Um, but I came back to Ghana and uh, you know how you be now. Like sometimes things things just happen, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't get one big job and I was like, well, maybe, I, maybe I just go do this job quickly and then come back um, to my regular job. And I came to Niger and uh, guy. Now, I don't know, there, there's something about Nigeria, man, because nobody's here because they're happy you know nobody's like oh my god i'm happy i'm in nigeria but yet we all stay which means that there must be something so some there's something here that that that's like causing causing all of us to stay despite the fact that it's like tough and everything because yeah anything can when happen you, here when did you come to nigeria when did you come to nigeria uh i came 2016 2016 2017 because i came to shoot hush you know that mnet show Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You remember when yeah, I did yeah. she when I called me to say, God, you my God. <laughs> I didn't tell you, would they, would they religiously they watch Hush because of you? And yeah, Hush. yeah. And Hush was you. mad. I um, so I came you. here, I came here to do Hush, you understand? And the plan was, when I, when I was coming, I told my friends, like, yo, oh, see, I'm going to Nigeria for a couple of weeks. I just go shoot something. I will come back just now. Bro, that was like three and a half years ago. I still did. I didn't you tell understand. you. <laughs> I didn't tell you. They don't believe where you go. Everything. I still be here. You understand? From the, from so, the money so, to the work to the food to the women, they don't believe you go, Abby. So hey, hey, hey relax yourself. Hey. So, so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying there's 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 something about Lagos that um you know even if or Nigeria in general that it, it it may be a tough place, but it it literally takes a second for you to succeed. Now, why yes. all of these musicians, all of these people, if you just do one song or one, one mm-hmm. album and next thing you know, you're at the top of the world, mm-hmm. you know? Because, yeah, if, 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 if it works, it's sort of like L.A., I guess. Maybe it's the closest thing we have to L.A. So if you blow here, like, you you're, you're blow off. like the rest of Africa. Yeah, yeah. if you blow here, you're off. Yeah, basically, the, the, yeah. The attention is here. So, um, you need to be finance, right? What yeah, finance, finance, computer science. What would you do? Is it? Finance, computer science. So you know book? Ah, my brother. The only book I know my whole life for. Hey, my good. guy. You book passing your journey. I don't, I don't know. I don't know book. You good passing your journey. No, no. Book never help anybody. Now it, that's what I learned as an adult. So you finance and computer science. Yeah, man. Okay, so what did make you go do finance? Was it was it like from parents or you just my entire family? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So my dad, my dad now a big finance guy, and then my older brother too went to do finance. So you know that can't follow follow. Your father is doing it. Your older brother is doing it. So we talk. Go follow. I went to do it, and it was cool and everything. But um, you know, I have this thing where if I'm if I'm not the best, I don't want to be. I don't want to be in it. You know, and I you see. can't be the best at everything. But even, if you even, even, in, even in the gym, even in the gym, I see. My brother, that will be another. <laughs> 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 you wrote for me for the gym, bro. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, man. I wanted to find something that I was like passionate about. So when this opportunity came my way, I started to do all of this, and I was like, I, I love this, and I can actually mm-hmm. be good at this. So here we did. Yeah, man. So, so you did finance, you did uh, computer, the whole uni. Um, I was asking yeah. my guests this: Did you know what you were gonna do while when you were leaving the university? Did you have an idea? Did you have a plan? Did you have everything figured out at that point? That's okay. When I go back to Ghana, what are you gonna do with this? Did you have, did you so that's the thing. Solution? I wasn't even. I, I actually even had. I, I I had no plans to to actually go back to Ghana. At least not anytime soon. Um, okay. my, my my brother my brother still lives there. So like the the plan was obviously you work you you go to uni and then when you're done you work for a while and then you just stay because the system sort of catches you. And that was my plan. I was gonna stay and then go back to school, probably do my masters and whatnot. The whole okay. Ghana thing. I was my dad was like, oh, come to Ghana and like see what's going on. Like there's there's, there's interesting things. So yeah, just come and check. Check out what's going to happen, and obviously I love being home. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh yeah, now let me let me go and peep what's going on. And I came, and uh, I just never went. But I think from like when I was like a teenager, I started mm-hmm. to figure out that there's no such thing as 
this is what I want to be and this is what I'm going to do. Even even as a kid, people would ask me, oh, what's your five-year plan? What's your 10-year? Where are you going to be in five, 10 years? I, I, I tell I people, hate that. Yeah. I, I hate that question. Because yeah. I, I you people, never know. Yeah. You're not in charge of, of life in general. Mother Nature can just change it for us. Yeah, man, people that yeah, people in January had a plan for June. What are you saying exactly? <laughs> right now, like, June, exactly. is, June is like a fucking myth right now. Bro, listen, we sit down and we plan and we say, okay, in, in June, I'm going to earn this money. And so one million will enter my account in June. And then by yeah. June, I paid this, blah, 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 blah. And here we are in March, uh, you, April now. Here we are in April. See all of us. We are looking at ourselves in the mirror. We, we are doing Instagram Live. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. So my it's thing is, crazy. I've learned over and over again that it really has nothing to do with what you want the best you can do is prepare yourself and be like well this is what i would like to do this is what i want to do i i, will, I want to be a bank manager i want to be a musician i want to be so this is what i'm going to do that's is that what i'm going to do as for that one forgets no one knows apart from god i so what did you, five, what did five you years want? ago i thought i was going to be a i, I thought i was going to still a finance broker and i'm still a finance broker you understand you see, you see where we did now is it i say finance broker wearing suits i mean i still wear my suits yeah Anything, anything. <laughs> before Hush, before Hush, did you mm-hmm. do anything, anything before Hush? Any kind of acting? When I, no. When I, well, yeah, I, when I was a teenager, I was part-time modeling in New York. Because um, I, I went to school in Pennsylvania, but I was, my brother lived in New York. Okay. So I got recruited by, so once one agency there, so now, now part-time mm-hmm. something. But you know, I was, I was a teenager, so now that kind, it was like a joke. Oh, ha, 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 was the model. It was fun, yeah. It wasn't. It was, it was never meant to be anything, anything big. So you've been you've been taking off your shirts for a long time, Maui. Is that what you're saying? Oh, you've been, you've been showing your your six packs for a long time. Bro, man. I worked hard for those six packs, man. It took me years. years oh my god! Years. Oh my god! Bro. Like, yeah, you, see, you see the picture where I posted that they came in, that they came. <laughs> 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 Bro, I don't lie. Yo. yo, if you see if you see any of like my throwback photos, you go understand why. Yo, I used to be like, I was smaller than you, man. Smaller than me. Stop I can tell that, you, bro. and I'm taller Stop than you. That. So imagine, and I'm taller yeah. than you. So imagine, Stop imagine, that, imagine bro. how bad. Stop that, yo, bro. I was that guy that people people used to ask me. People used to ask me, oh, like why uh, your, your mother doesn't feed you at home. Or they would ask you, ah, like, are you sick? Well, you have, like, I'm just like, song, yo. I don't know, there was this song that was big here in, like, the early 2000s. They used to sing that song for me, and it goes something like this. Food in no day, mother, water, no day. Literally, they used to sing that song. That's how kind, that's how skinny. For you, yeah. yeah. I tell you, you know what I mean? That's bad. So, you did modeling in New York. Yeah. At that time, you were just fucking, you were just messing around with it. You yeah, had no idea. At this point, you didn't even know that you were going to be an actor, right? No, 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 at all, at all, at all, at all. At all. Okay, you didn't know you were going to be an actor. You just, okay, this is, I just got to make ends meet one way or the other. I mean, no, this is what everybody in my family is doing, so maybe I just continue. Did you, at any point, before the acting gig kicked up, at any point, did you, was there any kind of pressure from home, getting a job, um, oh, you don't go out, you know, say, African parents, you don't go school for America, or yeah, after I did go. Some parents are not like that, some parents are like that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, so, did you yeah, have well. any kind of those pressures? Take it just because to discover yourself from uni into acting, it might take a while. For some people, yeah. it goes straight from uni and they're lucky. For some people, yeah. it might take a while. There's, there's always that grinding phase. So did you have pressure from home? And Yeah, yo. So, I mean, obviously now in, in 2020, mm. it's okay. Everybody is starting to see that, yo, these jobs pay. Everybody wants their son to be a footballer now and then a musician. Yeah. Everybody wants their son to play tennis mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. they don't see say, it'll be, it's not just banking. Um, and everything that the money is from. But in when when I first started to like try to do this kind of thing, yeah, no, my parents weren't having it. Like my family thought I was crazy, you know that kind of thing. Like, <laughs> no, no, come on, bro. You just spent. They just spent the how many thousands of dollars? Say dollars. Go learn, go learn. Finance. Like, it's so that it means to be I say I want to do TV. It's so because I, I, the worry was like. Uh, is, is is that one also a job? Is that is, is that also a so even my friends they would look at me with like pity. You know, you know you know that kind of thing as in they won't laugh you but they don't they don't know how to say it. So be like, ah, so this guy, you say you're doing acting now, be yeah, mm. acting. Wow. So mm. are you happy? Because are they you? because they have like ninety five that are making salary 
exactly. you are going from auditions to auditions, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so in their mind, only you, mm-hmm. as you, they like this, where these women they die for, you have uh-huh. to audition for a role. You. Uh, my case is always different because... My guy, uh, if I enter any audition hall and I see you and I go back house. No, yeah, so I don't... I, I, I do close reads. I don't do general auditions. Um, not because I'm, I'm above it or anything. It just it just hasn't been my path. Like, fortunately for me, I entered the system in a good way. I entered the system with Hush, with an African magic show, which was a top-notch quality, and it went all over Africa and everything. So mm-hmm. I was I was fortunate. Not everybody gets their first gig to be something that's so big, you know. So I would have people from SA and all over Africa send me messages that they're watching the show. So my acting career started on a high. So mm-hmm. from, from right there, from then, you have people offering you roles and people saying, oh, I have a role that you might fit. Come, come for a close reading. But from that level, you don't usually go down to go and stand in an audition room and start auditioning. You, you understand what I'm trying to talk? Because people, people already know who you are. They know who. So they will say, oh, yeah. I have a role that you might be good for. Come and read mm-hmm. privately. Yeah. You know, we say come stand in the line and everything. So um, I do that once in a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... Hush, big break. Boom. How did you get on Hush? Yo, Hush was mad, man. But uh, it was... Yo, when you have when you have good people in your corner, any, anything is possible. You know? And, and genuinely, I think that's, that's been the, the key to my success, like, ever since I started this thing. Like, mm-hmm. I've, I've surrounded myself with, with genuinely good people who have good energy. And when you, when you have good people in your corner, guy, they go, they go push you forward. And that's the way it is. The same way you push them, they push you. I don't know if you know this guy. You, you, you know Chris Atto, have you? Yeah, I know Chris. I know Chris. Yeah, exactly. Chris. Chris Atto, a couple, Chris Atto when he, when me and, me and him, I was like, we've always been cool, yeah? But when I met him, he was the biggest thing that Ghana, like, you understand what he talk. And I was yeah. now trying to get into the game. Ideally, anybody else would have been like, ah, like, they know, will like help this guy because ideally, that he's supposed to be in competition. You understand? Yeah. So most people would put you down type of thing. Yo, this nigga went and went to talk to people about me. He was living in Nigeria. I was still in Ghana. I just moved back to Ghana. So he would go and mm-hmm. talk to people about me, say, yo, I have this guy, man. You guys should um, give him a check, blah, blah, blah. So the whole Nigeria thing, real talk, it was all just Chris just running around making moves for me. And then one day he called and he was like, yo, you know that thing I've always been talking to you about? I set it up. They want to meet you. Um, go to Nigeria. And I was like, I never even go to Nigeria before. And he was like, you just go meet them, blah blah blah. So I flew to Nigeria, and that was the end. That was the hush audition. You mm-hmm. understand? And even that one, I didn't even have to do a general audition because he had already spoken to the producers and everything. Like, yo, this guy's coming from Ghana. Please take a look at him, blah blah blah. So now we think, like, no lie, it's, and it's always been like that. You know, I came to Hush, and I, I now I was with R&B for a year. He became like one of my best friends, like brothers, uncles type of thing. He would recommend me for jobs or. I even come meet you like a while ago. You, you understand me? Tell the talk. You said you go go somewhere and be like, "Oh, I know that guy." You, should, you, you need to use him for that kind of thing. That's literally been been how everything's been going. People that I meet and if we vibe properly, they happen to be people who will always push me and be like, "Um, do this and do that." So uh, if you get good squad, it's always it's all it's always useful. It's always useful. Okay, but moving from um moving from Ghana to Nigeria, what was your like yeah. the biggest struggle? Moving from Ghana to Nigeria, it was like a bigger struggle. Hold on, hold on one second. I think some someone wants to know what my uh, transition from the Ghanaian film industry to the Nigerian industry. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. It was interesting. It was interesting. But I I was never really a, a huge part of the Ghanaian film industry. Um, I wasn't. In, I've, I've been in Ghana. I've been in Nigeria longer than I've been in Ghana in the past decade. I was only in Ghana for like a year when I moved back from America before I came to Nigeria. So I never really, mm-hmm. I never really entered the Ghana system like that. But I was fortunate mm-hmm. enough that while I was there, I started on a high. I worked with um, Shelly from Pong, uh, Shelly from Pong Manso, now, now, now one of the best, probably in Africa. You know, but for Ghana, she's like our top top. And I did my first film with her. So obviously, once again, I entered on a, on a, on a high. So it was, it, was, it was a great thing. Transitioning yeah. to the Nigerian one, it was just Mnet. So obviously, that, it, that, that was pretty easy. And then from there, since I had done a, a big Mnet show, my face was mm-hmm. all, already all over the place. So it was like... Yeah, they had the, bill, they had the horse billboard with the bosses. The you boss understand. didn't drive for a run. I mean, see, I can see my guy. Don't be you, you understand what you're talking about? Yeah, yes. yes, yes. How, did the, how did the Ghana industry feel about it, though? Um, I'll say this, Ghanaians and Nigerians express 
our feelings and interesting. We both love and we express it in, in, in different ways. So a, a Ghanaian will be happy for you. He may not necessarily tell you that he's happy for you. He may not necessarily shout it from the rooftop that he's happy for you. But he actually is happy for you. Maybe if you saw him or he might see you and he would tell somebody, oh, that's that guy. He, he does that Shabbat. But like to your Shabbat. face. It might not necessarily happen. happen like that. It might not necessarily okay. happen. A couple of people won't do it. But they do feel it. Um, in Nigeria, I guess, I don't know if it's, it's the, a bit more exuberant and everything. So in Nigeria, I would have people who would be driving their Range Rover on the street and they would stop on the side of the road and get down and be like, yo, I'm Dr. Something Something. I love your show. I watch, my wife watches it all the time. Can I get a photo with you? Blah, blah, blah. This is somebody that will leave his, his G-Wagon in the middle of the road just to come and take a photo with me. But it's a thing that we both, we both love each other in the same way. We just, we just get different ways of sharing it, man. But both sides have shown me incredible love. Um, obviously, when, when I was moving here, I don't think Ghanaians were convinced that I was going to be successful yet. But a few people were in my corner. Um, and I was fortunate enough that when I came to Nigeria, Nigerians also decided to be in my corner. So together, I think both, 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 both sides pushed me. I say, ah, I'm not, they really did your corner. Will they see your, will they see your comments for your Instagram? Then did your corner where you are, my guy. Then <laughs> so, um, you've been around 2016, yeah? And when 2020, you've done Hush, uh, you've done d definitely the other big productions. Um, uh -huh. mm, how's it been rubbing shoulders with the big, the big dogs in the game? Because whether you like it or not, Aram did not say you don't do the game like, 15, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. That's you true. know what I mean? That's true. And you imagine your first major gig, you're literally with yeah. RMD. And there are yeah. boys that are amazing actors that are in the game right now. And yeah. they've been for like 10 years and they never even did the same production with RMD. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. How, yeah. how is it for you rubbing shoulders with the elites, literally? I'm not even going to lie, man. So most days, like. I'm, most days I'm like amused, like I'm like looking around and I'm just laughing to myself. You understand? Now that guy, like I just laugh. I'm just like, yo, life is life is interesting, man. Because we all we all watched RMD. Everyone knows who he is. He's always been that guy. You understand? So now okay. and now I'm now being on set with him. I shot for one year with him. Two hundred and ninety something days we shot in the year. Dang. You understand? And two hundred and ninety something days. Yeah, we no, shot two hundred and ninety eight. No days breaks. Before. Uh, yeah, you guys Monday. shoot Monday to Friday. Monday to Saturday sometimes. Monday it's to not Saturday. Easy. It's not around easy the clock. Make. Yeah, it's not easy to make. If you're a lead Wait, character, yeah, you shoot, you shoot quite a bit. Monday to Saturday around the clock. You are telling me from eight a.m. to like two fucking a.m. three a.m. No, it's not going to be two a.m. three a.m. because once again, you have to come the next day. So if it, it, if you're a lead character, if you're a passing character, you don't have that much of a workload. But if you're a lead character, it means that you're in almost all the scenes, or you're in like a lot of them, which means at least Monday to Friday, Sha, you'll be you'll be working quite a bit. And but anyway, a lot of so, yeah, carry on, carry on, No, carry on. so the thing, the thing, the thing with the with the elites for me, it's like mm -hmm. life is interesting, man, because mm -hmm. you, it, it's all about perception. There, there's these people that were like dying for, like, oh my god, I want to just touch this guy, blah blah. They're all just human beings, man. But we all just deceive them. So even me, RMD was that guy for me. I'm like, oh my god, that's that guy, that's that guy. But you interact with him, you realize that he is a regular human being who has emotions, who has feelings, and who is a nice guy as well. So he will come down to earn because he say, yeah, not normal, not normal, this thing. When I, when I go out and I have people, like, I can have, like, at a concert, we were at a concert, I was at a concert with R&D, and um, Two-Face was performing, and he saw us in the thing, and he was like, oh, my, like, he, or, like on stage, he was like, oh, my hush guys, but, like, he came down from the stage as he was performing, came down to come and hail us, and I'm like, what the bloody hell, like... <laughs> Bloody hell! This is too right now. Talk. Um, I tell you, but life, life is interesting. Like, this is in the right place, but I come. I won't try. Oh, somebody <laughs> said, uh, no, he said I'm a producer, and your name came up on a on a pre-production meeting, and some stuff that they said about you wasn't cool. It's unlikely that they would be able to say anything about me that was true enough that nobody there would be able to defend me. So if it's something about me not having my time being wasted or whatnot, then it probably is true. If I left you said because you're wasting my time, that one, yeah, it's going to happen over do and you, over again. Do you play, you play guitar? Guitar, of course now. Baba, play guitar for us. Oh, now which kind of guitar you want here? You can play guitar for us at the end of the interview. Which kind of guitar you want here? 
<laughs> so whoever whoever says um you said you you want to say some stuff that people said about me oh yeah now feel free but um that's what that one is up to you guys yeah so um our actors have day to day struggles i mean how do you go by your experience actors actresses they definitely have day to day struggles basically some of the the, the system hasn't been too fair with actors let's not lie you know uh-huh. I mean? the, the host, the entertainment is system basically. Not really. They, if they favor some actors, we don't need one for a very long time. You know yeah. what I mean? But some actors, you literally have to walk your entire life like a civil servant. Just as, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, 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 how, how do you how do you walk your way around such situations? Sheesh. You know, it, it, they say, "What's yours? What's yours? You cannot lose." Waiting there for yeah. you, nobody go pick take. You understand? And so a, a, a lot of the time, like I said, there's there's what we want and there's what we're going to get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Even as I day here, maybe you think that I have done so much, but there's things that I also wanted to do that I didn't get. There's opportunities that I wanted that didn't come my way. So you take you take the L's when they come, you take the wins when they come in. I saw you just gonna move, but mm-hmm. I I don't really um. As long as opportunities are coming, it's all good. Let them let them let them let them keep 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 coming you know mm-hmm. the that's all everybody they, they vibe right now don't rush don't rush challenge don't rush blah blah now last mm-hmm. year they don't I mean, last, last year that, january that's, that's all, january that's last year, year oh <laughs> year i watched old. an interview of those boys those boys they're like they don't forget the song they also they go one year ago you understand they also they go they don't forget the song now they don't go. The, and look the song and look and look look at where we are now you understand? Like it's, it's it's everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah say, don't stop, baby. Don't stop. Keep so as long as as long as the opportunities they come, forget. Just just continue to do your own. Oh, uh, okay. Um, do you like Chris now? Our guy, Chris doesn't mm-hmm. go Hollywood. You don't go Hollywood. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you have plans to do that too as well? Sometimes. Uh, when Hollywood is ready, when Hollywood is ready, they'll come. My guy, say it with your chest. Say no, yeah, we don't need to. We don't. We, we don't need to. They go come look for us. It's all good. Um, when I started this thing, and that was that was one question that people would always ask me. Um, you should move to Hollywood soon. You should you should move to LA. So I said, move to move move to LA. Go do anything for that side. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's there's you, there's there's a couple hundred thousand people over there trying to achieve the same goal. The same way there's people over here trying to achieve the same goal. All of us should move to Hollywood because there's only Hollywood that can tell you whether you've done well. There's a couple dozen Indian actors that even, I don't know their names. I don't watch any of them, but they're huge where they are. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. A million people, a billion people know them, and they're huge in their own right. I may not know them, so it's not always about going there. When when they're ready for you, they will come, and they've started coming, which which we're seeing. Instead of us begging, like, those days we, we used to beg to go even just to be in the um, yes sir, massa, I'll do that. No 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 no. We have the stories. Africa is where the Africa is where the shit is at. So they know it, and like I said years ago, now they're here now. Now you have Netflix. If you want to do Netflix, Niger, uh-huh. is, it, about, is, about, is it because we're best actually, friends? I was about to ask you, how are you feeling about the net, Netflix, Niger? How are you guys feeling? It was inevitable, man. Like. Africa has the stories, and Lots. Africa is the hub. And right now, Nigeria is the hub. So it's yeah. not rocket science. Any 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 yeah. businessman, anybody, when, if if they didn't do it, then Netflix themselves they are not serious. They are not a they are not a, um, a good business. If you can't see that Africa and Nigeria right now is 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 where things are happening, then yeah. Know. But most of the time, most of the time, they do production over there that reflects. That they're trying to translate the African lineage or whatever it is, or the African yeah. tradition. And half of the time, eh, they, they go this way. Yeah. Half of the time, they, they go yeah. this way. They never hit the nail on the head. How does that? How does that make you feel? Being a guy, even if, if like me now, eh, and I see a certain production that I know that okay, we can deliver, then I see the mm-hmm. guys in the Western world they do it, and I'm like, let me say this: Why did they do Africa like this? Which time they yeah. do this one? Yeah. So when it comes to the movies now, when you see that thing, then do you have this cringing? effect in your head like no way yeah, but see, the thing is, is there is there is the cringing effect but the cringing effect has always been there except now there's now there's social media so the producers mm-hmm. hear it um a few years ago will smith did a concussion where he tried yes. to play a nigerian guy nigerian and he yes. messed it up so much yes you yes. understand and now there's social media so everywhere all 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 online we're seeing that ah, ah, this is terrible so the producers see that yo we can't keep getting away with these things we can't keep getting away with 
um, mm -hmm. having these people put on put on a fake accent. It, it looks like we might have to go there and get somebody to actually do it. Yes, like and cast the direct, I mean, cast the actors from that country. And that's what, and, that, and, and that's what's been happening, and that's what's mm -hmm. been happening. But see, let me show you something from a uh, numbers point of view. Yeah, let's look at. Okay. Let's yeah, look at yeah. That's what I was about to say. I was about to say Will Smith is a big actor, so if they're going to use Will Smith. They obviously know they are going to get attain a certain amount of numbers. Yeah, but you see, now that now that the entire world is social media oriented, that's what mm -hmm. those are the metrics that we use to measure success. Now, okay. a an an artist here, would you believe an artist here, say someone like Fireboy, could be bigger now than someone like um say craig david or this thing depending on like in terms of, no I'm, I'm i'm talking about currently not not like, yeah, yeah yeah it's possible it's possible ba no no it's no possible. based on based on if you're big in africa if, if you're big in nigeria why do you think cardi b beyonce all those people why, why do you why do you think they come here not because they love us or anything they come here because if you performed 10 concerts in america you went to atlanta you went to philly you went to new york you went to um, everywhere in the world right you would get all together maybe like 100,000, 100,000, 200,000 new fans or followers. Come and do one concert in just Lagos in, alone. In just bro, Lagos millions, alone. Millions. Millions. Lagos alone. Millions. How, many, how, many, how, many, how many new people are you, you, you understand what I'm saying? In just Lagos mm. alone. Forget about PH and everywhere else in Nigeria that has. Mm. Mm. So it's numbers that they've never seen before. So now they're like, hey, I, I want a piece of that. Like, you, you understand what all these people, Janet Jackson, P. Diddy, reposting videos on their page. Yeah. It's, it's not because they love us any. They know that the Nigerian audience or the African audience it's is huge. too big to ignore. It's too big to yeah. ignore. Yeah. So now they I, always, I, I always say something whenever I do, like, interviews internationally. I always tell my guests, I was like, um, first and foremost, this whatever interview we're doing, it's going to be seen yeah. in the whole continent. In case you're not know, yeah. African continent. It's going to be seen by over 50 countries. And trust me, it's a billion people. So when they hear that, a billion people, it triggers yeah. some kind of coordination. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they know, they, they really know about numbers. You know? So I did this interview for okay. some big uh, Hollywood production that John Boyega was on it. And uh, I did uh -huh. an interview with the cast, crew, and the director. So when right, I said yeah. this thing to the director, if you see what the guy comports, the guy looks at this guy is like, man, like, I'm really interested right now. Like, I like you. You understand? I'm like, yes, mind. I don't tell you, say, a billion people, they house, we go watch this interview. So you guys speak well. Yeah, man. You understand? You guys speak well so that when those billion people, they go say, ah, that thing makes sense. That's a billion more numbers to your well, movie. Why do you think, why do you think all of a sudden, uh, what's, what's that guy's name? Uh, David uh, Oyelo... Oh, yeah, yellow, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How many, how many, how many films has he done in uh, in Hollywood over his career? Dozens. But all of a sudden, no. now that he does, all of a sudden, now that he does a film, he does a video and says, "Hey, my Nigerian brothers, I'm bringing the film to Nigeria. Come and support." Mm. I'm like, really, mm. really. Mm. As as for now, as for now, you know that you have Nigeria. Now that it's cool to be African again, y'all, everybody is now saying, "Oh, let's come and do Nigerian premiere. Let's come and do premiere and thing." But you've been doing these films for how long? And all of a sudden, you're like, oh my God. You've been doing them. Literally. Because, of, because, because of, of Black Panther. Because of Black Panther. And everybody is like, yeah, I want to come to Africa. I beg you, they house. Because Black Panther, Black Panther. Black Panther. Queen and Slim, Queen they will come do Queen this thing for here. Queen and mm -hmm. Slim, they will come do uh, farming. They will come mm -hmm. do um, Adewale, whatever. All of those people love them. Love them mm -hmm. to death. But point is, Africa has always been here. You only yeah. never done any premiere here ever, ever, because it yeah. didn't benefit yeah. you at the time. Yeah. But now, Queen and Slim, no, Slim, not big rich, King of Boys. Queen, Queen and Slim, not big rich, uh, living in bondage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Live, thank my you. brother. Thank Live. you. I don't think I don't think Nigerians or Ghanaians saw Queen and Slim the way they saw King of Boys or living in. Bondi. That's what I'm saying. So we're in an era now where, because of our numbers, we can say, "Hey." We love our king of boys. Forget about what Americans say. There's a couple yeah. hundred million of us, and we yes. love it, which means that we have an industry of our own. And now that and now they've been forced to come here, and in, instead of us saying that, yo, let's go there, let's go and watch, what, what, uh, what show do they have? Uh, mm -hmm. Which kind of black show say they get? Those fake black shows that they have that they use to pander to us. That's so we just going to watch on because in our minds, that's all we have. But now we have king of boys. We have living in bondage. We have... And yo, shout out to, like, Ramsey and Kemi and Ditsiba, like, the rest of those guys, man, because... Like it's uh, it's dope. Like the way, yeah, the way I'm, people I'm, are like actually hustling. I'm loving it because the creative, the creative energy forward. right now is crazy. The creative juice is crazy. Yeah, it's mad. 
we have a, a lot of producers, directors that are coming in and are just putting their energy into them. We just basically have to just figure out how we're going to uh, structure our industry and so that everybody can eat. So it's setting up. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. But the yeah. thing is, Every- and... And I'm I'm glad that you said the structure of the industry. Let's not let's not make the mistakes that the older people who in other sectors made, yeah. where they didn't set anything up, where it's just like a, a jungle. There's no unions. There's no blah blah blah. Let's set up a proper structure and a proper industry. So like the person who commented earlier on about how something about they're talking about in a production meeting and whatnot. Yeah. I will always insist, no matter the set I'm on, on whether it's a, a ten thousand naira set or the ten million naira set, you understand certain principles got stay intact. If we're signing contracts, if we're doing, you can't call me two days before and tell me you are, you are shooting a film on Thursday. Can I come and shoot? I'm like, <laughs> I'll tell you that no, I don't do two day notice. And somebody told me that I'm rude, or you because you pay me, you think I should shoot for you for sixteen, eighteen hours in the day. It's no, it's 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 not it's 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 not about that. It's not about mm-hmm. that. On both sides, mm-hmm. if we can all start to do the right thing and run this thing like a proper structure, we will actually get there. We have the numbers, we have the quality, we have the talent. We don't need sure. America. We don't need. We don't need them to come. Now look at the Oscars. Nobody watches the Oscars now. In five years, the Oscars are going to be irrelevant. Bro, if we can build up our things, such that have you seen the, the, trust the, yeah, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm big on TV, so I, I, I have yeah. a place where I go and see ratings and stuff. The Oscars, shit, bro. Last year, oh, early, no, the early ratings, last year, yeah, all time low, all time low. My brother. Because My no, because brother. because we're not we're not looking for those days. If the Oscars, mm. if the Academy says you're a good film, then we believe you. Mm. We understand. But now, now we don't need that. Living in Bondi, we like we we go take our living in Bondi's like that. So you have your uh, La La Land, and you guys have La La Land, and Just mm. Mercy, and all of that. It's okay. Take mm. it. We we'll take our King of Boys. We we'll take our living in Bondi. Uh, like uh, at the Golden Globes, Ricky Gervais. You know what Ricky Gervais said? What, he, the host, the guy that hosted the Golden Globes. I love him. One of my yeah, I love him. Yeah, you know he said. He said, "Why are we here? Like, truly, why are we here? They should just pack all these awards and give it to Netflix. Why the fuck are we here? That was <laughs> and give it to who? Netflix. Netflix. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. And you see, I, I didn't pick it up. Then later, I was like, oh, yeah, but it's that's true. fucking true. Because let's not yeah. lie, bro. Netflix right now, streaming platforms are totally winning. Yeah, everybody's of course. jumping on streaming platforms. Everybody's on of course." On, Hulu, Netflix, HBO, and all that kind of thing. And it, it is what it is. And you are very right. Five years, ten years, you never know. The Oscars might be a wrap. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up one quick second, yeah. Someone's asking me something about how, how we can make the Nigerian industry fair and how we don't make it such that it's, it's another predatory association. Um, okay. that's, that's, that's essentially part of what I'm saying, that at some point it, it, it falls on all of us in... Nigeria, we love to say that, oh yeah, the government does not try, and the mm-hmm. government doesn't do this, and which is, which is very true, but we voted oh, them into power twice. We voted yes. them into power twice. And nobody should say we did not vote, because if you did not vote, then you are part of the problem. If you sat at home and said my vote did not count, then you are part of the problem. If you tried, and you still didn't get your results, that's, that's one thing. So it, 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 it trickles down all the way to, all the way into the movies and whatnot, you understand? You I cannot make somebody I... choose... You cannot right, let right, somebody right. keep you on set for 18 hours and then you've not eaten it and you're afraid to say, oh, I'm supposed to have a meal. I'm supposed mm-hmm. to have a blah, blah, blah. I'm sure for 18 hours. I shouldn't be coming at... If you want to beg me with a favor, sure. But you mm-hmm. should know what you're worth. You understand? You should know what you you're worth. Actors, you take... not, do you think actors, not actresses now, do you think actors mm-hmm. get the respect that they're, they deserve? If you don't get it, then you probably shouldn't be there. You, 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 you understand what I'm saying? If you're not getting the respect that you think you deserve, then you probably shouldn't be there. Um, which is something that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fight for. Because, bro, in, in my own small corner, I did produce my own small film. I've, I've only done two so far. I hope to be able to do more. But being on the other side lets me see both sides. And I know it's not easy as a producer. I get it. Guy, no day easy. Yeah, it's tough. It's expensive. And you're trying to do it well and everything. I get it. You don't want to shoot the whole day. Sometimes, you know, Niger, uh, lights, uh, Nepal go off lights or it'll ring, blah, blah, blah. All these different things happen. I understand how we get into those situations. Unfortunately, there's producer's problem and there's actor's problem. You have to decide what side you're on. Just because it's my film doesn't mean the actor has to suffer with me. You understand you're, you're, You understand what I'm saying? So both people have to know their worth. The producer has to know that, yo, when this thing is I, done, I might be making with, millions of dollars from it. Yes, sir. So and we also have that mentality that when you're coming up, mm-hmm. if you don't suffer, you're not going to make out. 
you know, we'll make say, yeah, we have that mentality. Like, you know, if you don't suffer, you know, go through the so hardship. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ah. They make you, they make you, they make you suffer just because. And I'm like, ah, no. One of the things that maybe somebody can say about I, I threatened to walk off a set at one time, um, and they had to come talk to me. And I mean, maybe that's one of the things that people, because we had shot, we should all shoot, oh blah, to like three a.m. The bro, this is like three a.m., four a.m. You understand? And I'm like, okay, cool. It's three a.m., four a.m. Me and a couple of veterans and people, I never vex. Um, tomorrow is another day. I get it. Things went wrong, but now it's three a.m. and the p.m. is going round saying, oh, oh yeah, now tomorrow we're gonna need you guys earlier. We need you guys to come earlier. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And she's like laughing about it. She's jovial. Ha, 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 ha. She crack jokes. And I'm like, ah. So I went up to her and I'm like, yo, I don't think you should be joking about this. We've shot for you till 3 a.m. The least you can say is, oh, guys, thank you so much for your hard work. I get that it's not easy. Is it, would it be okay if you guys please come at 7 a.m.? We know that it's the blah, blah, blah. We're begging your head. If, if you come with that approach, oh, boy, you know what she told me? She's like, but have we not paid you? So? So that yeah, same so look. Far. So that same look, so that same look. So in that moment, I don't know, maybe it's because I, in that same moment, I said, ah, Madame Pele, sorry, don't be angry. You know what? What's your account number? Let me just return your money to you. She, she wasn't the producer. She, she was a PM. She was a production manager. Yeah. And I employed her. I said, ah, please, let me just return your money to you right now. I beg you, please. Because if, if that's what we're going to do, if you're going to tell me, have you not paid me? Because you pay me, I got shoot for it to 4 a.m. How? One, and even if, why, why and even if I will do that. Even if I will do that, let it be by choice. Let it be that I'm saying, oh, like my G, like I, I understand that this is what you deserve. I'm sorry I kind of provide that to you right now because I'm in a tight spot as a producer. I cannot pay for the location next year. Please, can we do this? Guy. <laughs> but to tell me, have we not paid you? Forget that. And I'll, I'll give you your money back and go home. Please, let me sit at home. Please. Please. Make a day my house. No, but maybe anyway, so that, so that was my answer to the question. How do we make it fair and it's not predatory to anybody? If both sides know their worth, we'll do, we'll do it. Unfortunately, when you walk away, somebody will take the same role for 1,000 Naira. But if sure. the producer... No, 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 it's, it's okay. If the producer wants to put that person in the film, let them go put it. If not that, if not that person, <laughs> go. go. Oh, how do I, I, do I know? I, do that, yeah. I, know. I always tell the guys in my own department of the industry, the MC mm-hmm. host... Um, some of the veterans that have been doing it for a million, and they always say it too. And I knew from the beginning, like, yo, you know, if you don't debate on the time, university politics, you say plenty of hosts, then you will understand the P. So I always tell my boys, like, yo, <laughs> these people don't, event planners, promoters, they don't really respect you. They respect the artists. Because yep. half of the time, they don't, they don't think they're making money from you. But guess what? Half of the crowd are also coming to see you. Thank you, you so know? much, my G. I, 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 I gave one of my boys an example. I said, look, think about this. You hosted the show, Abby. He said, yes, I mm-hmm. killed it. I said, yes, I believe you, you killed it. But call the photographer of that show, man. Uh-huh. Ask him to show you the pictures he took, all right? Yeah. You stayed on stage the entire show. Let's say four or five hours of the concert. You were on stage calling artists mm-hmm. back and forth, back and forth. I bet you, you will have the least amount of pictures. An artist <laughs> that came there to spend two minutes. Two mm-hmm. minutes. Mm-hmm. You understand? Now, now your picture go food your place. Life. Now you yeah. can fool the whole yeah. place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now yeah. it's not boils down to you to yeah. work on yourself so that when yep. they see you sparkling and shining, they're not going to bring that kind of bushes come near you. Thank you, my G. Thank you, you know my G. I, I, I love always, what you do. Yeah, and I, I always tell my, my, my youngest or my guys that we do this thing together, I say, no, boy, just do your job and go. Don't ever think you're the main event. If you're not the main event, you're not the main event. Oh, no, 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 yeah, take it. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Just it's do your good. job, do your shit, and go. Like, that's good. why a lot of, a lot, a lot of them, eh, they always take, they only the, the catch feelings. You know, as backstage for this, our shows they do now, when promoters will tell them something, they go, they the para, they, 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 the artists will come, they will tell them, they claim one place, the host will the para. My G, that's how they see you. It's going to change if you work on yourself. Mm-hmm. In, the, in, the, yeah. in the beginning, it happened to me. But the way God don't But bro, if hands. you didn't stand your ground, if you didn't stand your ground and say that, hey, bro, you know what? You go. It's yeah. all good. You you I will once, not be where you are. I once I once had a backstage tussle with a famous road manager, stroke manager of one big artist. Yeah. His artist wanted to perform, and the guy just was going back and forth. And I told him like, oh my guy, is it? Are you pay me? Why the problem? I tired for you. You understand? Know and the guy just said something I didn't like because he thought because he was bigger or one kind of thing. I'm a, I push arm, but it stays. I, I push and jump for him, but he, 
Before he realized yeah. what he go do, some of us don't ready for. They don't carry it. They don't. After the guy say this time, no, they do like that. I don't like him. No, they, I know they disrespect you. So I know they say maybe disrespect me. The guy, a couple of years after, the guy became a promoter himself. Anytime this guy booked me, eh, my my green room. Any way my management tell him, he already knows. He knows. He oh knows. Oh my God! He knows I don't. I don't drink. He the knows. Yep. Pull, he will not pull yep. water. He will not pull Haribo. Yep. He will not pull yep. my apple. He knows yep. because we've yep. been there before, and with a couple of them too. That yep. that boy they come, you know. Yep. I don't follow anybody. Call. I don't need bad anything. Because you stood your anything. ground. Because because yes, you stood your ground, and and you knew that that's that's what you wanted. So for me. The, the reason I laughed when the person put that comment there about somebody said something about me in the production meeting. First of all, you're talking about me in the production meeting. That must mean I have done something right. Now, mm -hmm. the people who cannot call me again are people who must have messed up when we were shooting. If you realize I work with the same people over, if you look at the movies that I've done, I keep working with the same people or with the same groups of people or with the same types of people because once me and somebody work together and we have that good experience, guys, yeah, trust me, we can shoot for for 10 years. Because we would always have, because I know my worth, and I would love to give you that based on what you know. You understand? Let me give you a, a, an example. On the set of Sugar Rush, um, Sugar Rush turned out to be one of the biggest hits um, of us. And uh, Sugar Rush was a film that we shot, bro, there were days that we would shoot through the night. You understand? We wake up, we see the sun set, and we'll shoot, 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 and we'll see the sun come up again. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? This when we say we gave our like uh, our blood, sweat, and tears. That's that's what happened. But but in that regard, the producer Jade and uh, Bimbo Craig, they were on set with us. You know, we say they did some room inside each other. They were on set I with us, and the whole see. time, guy, they were going around being like, guys, like I am so sorry, like please, but they will go bring energy drink, like oh guys, so sorry about this way. And you could see that it's not their fault that the thing is going bad. You understand what I'm saying? So when the producer knows your worth, the producer knows that, oh, it's not, it's, it's not that you're supposed to be here till 5 a.m. So because I paid you, or you come out for there. And now imagine this. This is, we're shooting an explosion scene. This is like 4 a.m. This is like me, Banky, Adeswa, Toke, Omoni Oboli, William Suchemba, uh, Bimbo. Uh, the entire cast, Uzo, every, everybody is there. This is for mosquito they chew this is where we're out in the jungle somewhere like 4 a.m type of thing but we're all there no, nobody is shouting nobody is complaining because everybody knows that yes maybe my worst is that i should be chilling in a in a in an ac room right now but for this project and for that producer who knows my worth who has come to me to say i know that this is not your worth i'm sorry about this but let's do this for the team it worked perfectly. Nobody, we all, we, we all sat there till 5 a.m. We all shot and we all, we all went home and everything because at, at that point, everybody is intact. Now, as a producer, if you come to me and you are shouting that it's 3 a.m. and I should be listening, then I know that we have a disconnect. So even on both sides, the whole industry, not just acting, like music, music, music and everything, man. Like, if we can all just start seeing that, forget about, nah, to hustle is the way forward. Forget, know your worth and, let, and just act accordingly. Respectfully, of course. I'm not saying go around yes. and say, hey, Namio, Namio, no, 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 absolutely not. What would you tell? What would you tell up and coming? Because we have a few in the comments. What would you tell up and coming actors, filmmakers, um, that are basically struggling, struggling with things right now? Uh, yo, the, so the best advice my uh, my father ever gave me, like best advice ever, he said, Mali, in life you have to learn to deal with disappointments. Bro, it sounds like pessimistic and everything, but it's probably one of the best pieces of things. Oh yeah, you gotta you do with the good and the bad, boy. You it's not even just it. the good, especially the bad. Especially, especially. the bad. Because the yeah. bad will come, you understand? The L's, yeah, you will, you, you will, so for all, for all of you up and coming, you will take some L's. You will take losses, you will fail, you will do some things that just don't work out for you, and you'll be like, what the hell, you know? My point is, your ability to deal with those things is what's gonna is 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 what's gonna set you apart. Which means that when when you fail, when you when you get that L, you don't go down like ah, I'm not good enough. I'm not blah blah blah. You understand ah, oh boy. Anyway, it didn't work out. We don't go. You understand? I I go to auditions, yeah, and once I leave, I completely forget about the audition. It, sometimes I can even forget that I, that I auditioned for something because i'm like if it's gonna happen they'll call me if it's if it's gonna when i audition for hush now i did an audition in like october i didn't hear anything october november december Jan. i didn't hear anything till january so i thought i failed 
I was like, hey, like, it's all good. I feel it and everything. Then I get a random phone call saying, hey, are you ready to come over? You understand? Mm-hmm. Let me give you a tip, uh, another example. Money Heist, the, the show that everybody is making noise about. Yes. Abby, you know, this isn't, you know this isn't a new show. It's an old show that started in Spain, did its yes. run in Spain, even got cancelled. You understand? And then it got bought by Netflix. And then they revived it. And then they so I was yeah. watching if if you watch the season four of um, Money Has, there's a documentary after where the actors talk about what happened, and they talk about how, how they cried when when the show ended and how this and that yeah. and that. Yeah. Fast forward now, it's the biggest show. It's number two Good on word. Netflix worldwide. Yes, yeah, man. you understand. So so the, the same thing with said, Top Boy. Top Boy. Top thank boy. you. Yeah, thank they you. canceled thank Top you. Boy because they said they were uh, advocating for violence and stuff like that. Top Boy. Drink, Top Boy. Yeah, like four years Drake after went and bought them. Back and, top it, and Top Boy went straight back to the top. You know? So, yeah, so if you're trying to make it to the top, I mean, yo, do your best. You know, prepare yourself, try and like work on yourself and everything. But the most important yeah. tool you can have is being able to deal with the L when it comes. When the L comes, you'll be like, ah, oh boy. Anyway, it's all good. On to the next one. They don't pick you for that role. You'll be like, ah, anyway, on to the next one. You know, sometimes they'll pick you and then halfway through the film will not shoot. You understand? There's been times where I've, I've had contracts there. I was, I was supposed to do something. Before I came to Nigeria, I was supposed to host this big TV show in Ghana, this morning show with one network. Bro, I was excited, man. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is my big break. Finally, Bro, I went on my knees and I prayed. My nigga, I was like, God, I my nigga this is my big break. I'm forever knowing this bitch, boy. Bro, I, I was like, oh, my God. Show, my I was like, God, God, I thank you. I, bro, I went on my knees and I, and I was like, yeah, I'm thankful. Baba, God, I thank you, blah, blah. I finally got to my big break. This morning show is going to happen. I was still in Ghana. Bro, you would not believe. Rainy season came and it rained and the studio flooded. Oh, shit. Yeah. A week before we're supposed to start airing. Bro, we had shot the pilots. We don't shoot TV commercial. We don't shoot billboard poster, everything. You understand? And it rained right before and it flooded the studio. And the studio didn't want to rebuild the set. So they just scrapped the whole thing all together. So I went from having a signed contract for a big show, morning show, I was going to be on every TV in the country, to, to not having a job. I don't, I, I don't get a job. You understand, bro? I was, I was crushed. You, would you know, I was why. like, you would this, is, this is... They, they follow me. But, 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 a few months later, I ended up doing Hush in Nigeria. Damn. And because of the, the biggest... because of the fact that that thing didn't happen, I was free to move to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. To do to do hush, and that started all the crazy things. But I'm saying when that when that show failed, I was like, ha. Ah. Anyway, 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 that's okay. And then and then you go from there. You understand? Hey, I can imagine waking up in the morning and they call you say, "Omo, what are those katawa set Yo, bro, when bro, I, bro, you you gonna <laughs> think like who said who carry <laughs> ring? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> By my village people, that one day I swear I thought it was my village people because it don't make any sense, bro. We don't do every, we don't shoot everything. We, anyway, but yeah, that's life. Dang, that's life. That's life. My but dude, you get that's there. crazy, man. But anyways, congratulations on everything, my dog. Thank you, my you know, G. Thank you. Yeah, they support you if you need me. Yeah, every time, every time, yeah. you come dressed up as any. The production, once you want to start, if you need any dreadlock pastor or any dreadlock houseboy or any dread, just... I'll go hold you to one, definitely. My guy! Definitely. I'll be bad at all, but I only act in my room, you understand? I did did some acting to three wise men in primary school and that's a cool acting in in high school. I quite did a lot of acting in high school. Oh, for real? So why you never... Yeah, so, well, my guy. so my next one, how far? My next one, how far? I'll come collect you. But me, my, my son, guy. Shoot like 5 a.m. I don't want to hear him from you. you my guy, I shoot till like, I, bro, I, don't, I don't want to hear anything from, don't from you. Too, they shoot 6 a.m. now. I did shoot, so I don't forget it. No, I did lie, I did lie. I actually, I actually yeah, make it a point not to, I actually make it a point not to shoot past a particular time. But because now, in a small production, they do, so. I beg, just write me in. <laughs> Did you hear me? Did you hear me now? Yeah, man. Hear me now. If you guys can hear us, just put uh, um, the thumbs up in the comments. If you can hear us, just put the thumbs up emoji. Okay, it's back. Okay, so you know, I did like my one hour and the cut. I didn't as a Then the cut, yeah. Uh, yes, I was enjoying the gist. 
<laughs> I know if it's we pass one hour. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah, one hour. So I was in there. Where were we? 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 Okay, right in the script. Okay, so yeah, uh, my guy. What can I say, man? See, from finance, you know what I mean? Because me, I'm out here. I'm with the. I believe the only way they can affect the future is to really, really change yeah. the information that was given to us. You oh, know, no two it's ways. It's not rocket science. No two ways. It's not rocket science. No two ways. I mean. Big up from Jamaica. Hey, you go to Jamaica. I visit Jamaica and say, so, Big up from Yo, Jamaica. Yo, so, so you know it's in the kill me now. You know it's in the kill me now. I was actually supposed to be in Jamaica right now. Um, What's the, what's what's today's, uh, what's today's date? Like, 5th. Yeah, today's like 5th, eh? Okay. I, I was supposed to be in Jamaica on the 2nd. Mm. Um, But it all spoil, it all spoil all my... All my parole, like flag. everything. Where, is that where thing. you watching from? Put your flag. I see you. Get it from Dubai. I see you. Put your flag. Where you representing from? Put your flag in the comment section. Um, yeah, my G. Like, I'm like yeah, I said. Man. I think the education, the information, not necessarily education, because I don't count myself as one of the most smartest people, so I don't want to sound what they teach. But the information mm -hmm. that they gave us, yeah, the only way we can change it is if we yep. actually change that information. To the, and give it to the next guys, yep. you know, you know, yep. what I mean? because so many things we didn't tell us, you know, yep. you know, follow, you know, you know, yep. really follow, you understand? Yep. So if me, I did tell my young youngies, I did tell them fact and say, guy, mm -mm, don't do it, it ain't like this, it ain't always, you understand what I'm saying, yeah, you know, it's gonna be nice, yeah. you know, you can, you can make it, but you gotta work your ass, bro, off. bro, Literally. think about it this way, think about it this way. Remember when we when we were kids, mm -hmm. all the, the the only media that we had access to was mm -hmm. I guess MTV and uh, another kind of music video type of thing. White MTV, white MTV, not black, not MTV. White. Too. No, no, no. But white obviously, we're gonna see Nelly. We're gonna see Nelly and P Diddy and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, so we're gonna wear bandana on our heads and oversized exactly. jeans. And if Nelly, exactly. if Nelly go, Nelly goes to put a plaster here. Plaster. We go do um uh, because 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 now we're with the see. Now think about mm -hmm. think about how silly it is for mm -hmm. kids all the way in Africa to be a movie wearing like um fur coats because we've seen like uh Timberland and everyone wearing it. Think about how Very ridiculous cool. it is. But it wasn't our fault because that's the only thing that we saw. Exactly. Back then, nobody was showing proud African men wearing this kind of Ankara suits or whatnot, or they don't even wear exactly. Adbara exactly. or whatnot. No, it, it wasn't cool. When I was in uni, <laughs> when I was in uni, which is actually really annoying for me, the time I did America, all these, no, obviously, all of these, my friends, yeah? And if you wear this kind of African, if you wear this kind of African, now so they would, yo, they would, they can clown you from morning to evening or, uh, nice. oh, hey, Yo, that's Kunta Kinte. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's always funny. Oh, that's my G. Blah, blah, blah. You understand? And now I have all of them sending me messages saying, yo, this suit is dope, man. You got to send me one. Yeah, 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 I yeah. want to come to Africa. Yeah, you got to send me one. Africa. Africa. Yeah. As they see your face. Africa key. I know I'm not going to know. Yeah, man. It's it is now. I swear. Don't, Someone don't said, how was my date with Danielle? My date with Danielle was, was fantastic. She's amazing. Who's Danielle? I don't know. Danielle, Danielle. you know the Mitsubishi thing that I did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Is it? Was she like a winner? Yeah, was that was the one. She was one of the people that I, uh, so I, I, went, I, went, I went for a date with her. Yeah, it was you dope. Are you, are you, are you Bro, we well, see, see. Empty, oh, man. Oh, my God. Empty man. Empty man. Are you dating anyone now? Empty man, me guy. Right now, I'm not day anywhere close to being on on market. Are they fear women? <laughs> yeah. You guys say they fear you. They fear women. I'm afraid of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm locking. I'm locking oh. for now. I guess some things that I want to do for myself first, and when I'm ready to and have my heart broken. How do you handle the wave of women, though? Say what? Yo. How do you handle the wave of women? Bro, me and you don't come out. I don't see out his hand. And I, you handle it in the most professional way. You know what I mean? But how do you do it, man? Like, have me out run. Me, I do it, I do run. You know, how do you manage it? Yeah, how do you manage it? Oh, see, the thing is, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's not that deep. Like, it's, if anything, it's something that we can all laugh about. The moment you start seeing yourself as as 
as that kind of person, that's when it becomes tough. But because for for me, it's funny. I'm I'm almost I'm I'm, I'm like laughing at you or laughing with you because yeah. you're saying, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, "Yo, I'm just a regular guy, man." <laughs> like maybe I'm like taking a photo and the person is like shaking. You know, mm -hmm. I'm amused because <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, you're shaking, bro." I'm just like a regular guy, man. I'm just. I mean, so I'm not about any guy who's going home to eat Gary and Gary and beans or Gary and milk or whatnot. And uh, yes, but perception will do that anyway. Is it? Watch it, Abina. Is it what we chop no, 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 guy. When I met you, up, I was doing, I was doing the same thing. I was, I was shaking, and I was like, I was just, I was looking at him from the side. I was like, ah, oh, now wow, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then you talk to the guy, you realize that no, no, no more human being. Yeah. Then it comes, then, then, then your perception switches. You realize that he's not a god. He's not um. Mm -hmm. He's a normal human being who does something that I like, you know. Mm -hmm. so okay, so you are one of the most, probably like one of the most elite bachelors in the West. So imagine that there's a Dada Boy dating show and you, we give you some qualities to do your perfect woman. Uh huh. Dada Boy dating show, we gave my Willie Gabo the biggest actor in Africa. Some qualities in his basket to literally create a woman. What would she look mm -hmm. like? Mm -hmm. Create a woman. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. I would say create. Let me know. Make a no go kill me for blood. Make a no kill you. Understand? You understand? I beg. Sorry. Make a no go create. We know they make human beings. So basically, what is your ideal woman? Uh. What she looks like. It sounds strange, but the only thing the only thing I need is I need to I need to feel that the person is is beautiful. As in, for me, it doesn't matter whether. I need to. Is it? 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 Is that's my idea. <laughs> <laughs> you mess up, man. Are you fucking with me? You're killing me you right now. You fuck up. Is <laughs> it waiting? You say we are waiting. Uh, we are waiting. Uh, tell us now. You're a woman. What does she look like? You say you did something. You are no, I need a like face to be you. nice. Anything else? I, I just need the face. Like, everything else is bonus. Okay. So like I don't it, uh, if 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 you have a lot to work with all the best <laughs> better for me but if you don't that one that one too is okay like we go like we go down like that but as long as I can I can look at you and be like yo that's my girl for me like I don't need the whole world to think you're like pretty but if if, if I can look at your face uh, then yeah because sometimes you know, if you get you know, if you get that kind of big national everything but you wake up in the morning and you're like annoyed I don't want that I don't want that I don't want to be annoyed when I wake up in the morning. Oh man, we don't want that. Nobody wants. That. I want. I, I want to look at you and be like, ah, I don't do it. Damn. Yeah, I want to. I just want to smile. I'd be like, yeah. And then the rest of it, we can manage it. The rest of it, we can do. It. Yeah, we yeah. Is she gonna be Nigerian or Ghanaian? Is she gonna be Nigerian or Ghanaian? <laughs> bro, bro, you're we'll really down for another day. The best for you. We we'll really down for another day. I beg you. Ask Chris. Ask Chris. He will tell you what happened. Ask Chris in his first marriage. Leave, leave that one, leave that one for another day. Someone says, how was it working with Kavoy Burton and Joseph? It was fantastic. Kavoy is my brother, man. I don't know if you know, but he moved to Ghana, so. The Jamaican guy I don't do that film with. Oh, the okay. The Jamaican okay. one that we shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kooji, Kooji. Okay. Um, he's moving to. Speaking of, I'm actually doing a thing where I'm, 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 I'm organizing a trip and I'm taking a couple of people uh, okay. to Jamaica. Okay. Uh, we need to try to do them for later. I, I mean, now you understand. So we're trying to get a couple of people from Jamaica to come. I will bring them come uh, this side, and then we will take some people from here go that side. So if you're mind you, we can talk about um, true story. Make a tell you true mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. I go renew, I go, I go renew my my American visa so I can go to Jamaica this year. Oh, for real? I I tweeted January first that 2020 I'm going to Jamaica. And renewed my American visa. Bro, we were doing not, that yeah, yeah, yeah. not that I went to go to America because I have to pass through America to go to, to get to yeah to get to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah we That's why. I, so, but Corona just kill everything. But Corona can't spoil. Corona, Corona, Corona can't spoil everything. 
Yeah. So we're not going to say this. This girl says, can you walk around with your shirts off all day? With no shirts all day? Yo, uh, Aiz, I can't go with you anymore. My, uh, my girlfriend said I'm going with her, so it's okay. <laughs> Dog has not suck you, so it's okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, even, even, take me away with you. I mean, now. I mean, now. We guy, cannot go together. Oh, my guy, I think I give you, man. Thank you very much yeah, man. for talking to us. I mean, we wish you the best of luck. And, I got and you, my G. All the struggles that we do. All the struggles, everything will be like it will be like good news at the end of the day. You know, what I mean, we we'll all laugh at it and say, "Remember that you know, with the with the struggle till three a.m." You understand? So, but now everything is good. Everything is rosy. Right? Always, my G. Always. So you go play guitar. You go play guitar for us. Oh, which kind guitar again now? Can you guy the girl see the fans and they say, "What me?" No, 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 ladies, no, it's not. Ladies, if you want my only to play the guitar, please drop. It's not. A it's not a guitar. Term. Drop a song emoji if you want. To play <laughs> Nobody can drop it. Is it? I beg you. You go rap for me or wait For me. I go rap for you. Don't worry. I go rap for you. As you play You go rap for me. Drop a song emoji if you want my willy to play the guitar game near you. Die. As you play the guitar with the round up and with the go. I go leave you. I actually have two. Uh, one of them, yeah. Okay. Is it? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> you didn't see how. You didn't see how. You didn't see how. You didn't see how. The cast. The cast. <laughs> Yo, but that's my all time love, though. Yo, no, no, I think what you This song don't fool the old screen. Is it anything or anything you want to play for us? Anything, anything you want here. Uh, let's see if you can remember this. Ah, uh, let's go. Woo, ladies! See if you can recognize the song. Every step you yeah, take. Man. Come on, the original. Sing up for me. Let's go. Okay, so I will start them. I will start them, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Ready? Let's go. Every step. Every step I take. Every move I make. Every single day. And I first. I see. Yo! You get that? I sleep right, now. Right. Boy band way. Boy band. Way. <laughs> he said boy band. I mean, yeah. come on. That that will really connect. We just got to figure out the name. You know, we just got to figure out the name. You know. Normal level now. We will start a rap group. I love you, my dog. I appreciate you, my guy. A need. Yo, Tim Spady. What's good, my G? No, that's one of my. That's, that's one of the guys I went to college with, Tim Spady. Oh, I know CM and probably like six, seven, wow, wow, eight, my nine. G. Wow, wow, my G. Shout out to you, man. Yeah. We are like player. I'm trying to follow you. I'm trying to be like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of... Hey, is my they abuse your singing, though. They abuse your singing. Is, uh, is my woman that is playing the guitar? They are only looking at you. They are not looking at me, but it's okay. No, no. They say, no, they say your key. They say your key day off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You go take my, on I will go and trade. I'll yeah, I say you go rap for me. I don't. Say, I don't say you go sing for me. I say you go rap for me. You do rap. Make I rap for you. You go rap. Make I rap for you. Why not? I'll you guys on rap. 
Bro, come on now, my G. I okay. don't get my own rap, but I'll No, rap. it's all good. If you go if you go do somebody's rap, it's all good. Bro, I will give rap. you the, the first rap song I ever learned in my life. You know me, I always come with the, with the history. The first rap song I ever learned in my life, I learned the lyrics, and it, it came out a long time ago. It came out in 1993 from the album Doggy Star. The name of the oh, that Doggy Star. Name of, the album Doggy Star. Oh, yeah, now let's go. The name of the song is Gin and Juice. You understand? Gin and Juice. Let me, let me see if I can get some battle beats. Not Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Not Snoop Dogg. <laughs> With so much drama in the LBC, it's gonna hurt. Hey. This will be a dog. Mm-hmm. But I uh, somehow, some way, I keep coming like a and shit like every single day. Hey, I give you a little something for the G's and that's a breeze through to and the and the and the mama ain't home. I got bitches in the living room getting it on and. Eight, 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 six in the morning. Do what you gonna do. Shit, I got a pocket full of mothers and the whole boys do too. So turn off the lights and close the door. Most of what? We been robbed of hoes, yeah. Uh-huh. And we been smoking ounces of this. Jeez, up, hold down while your motherfucking bounces are rolling down the street. Smoking. Sing with me. Sipping on gin and juice. Way back. My money and my money and my mind. My guy. On my playlist, on my playlist, on my playlist, on my playlist, on my playlist. Uh, Master KG. Master KG is number one, number two, number three. Master, Master KG. Master, Master KG is number Master one, KG. number two, number three. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jacob Banks. Jacob Banks is always, is always like a dope, like a dope um, selection for me. And then my Ghanaian people, I'm always like... Uh, it's hard to pick one, but like, like, uh, like you know, like Stoneboy is always like killing it. Sakura is always killing it. Um, Kiddy has this new song, Enjoyment. I heard it a couple of days ago. It's dope. Uh, King Promise is is, is, my, is dope. My guy. Yo, there's people doing some like bad things, man. My guy, King Promise. My guy, I love King Promise. He, he's he's yeah. amazing. Um, I like this. Um, I like this. Uh, Daku vibes. I like Daku vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daku's yeah, Daku's like dope. He's dope. He's dope. I like um. Uh, uh, Quick, what's his name? Oh, ah, what's his name? Quick, see, Quick, see, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quick, see, author's name. God damn, is this? Yeah, I love Quick, see, author. And he was, gonna, yeah. it was a, he's good. So, shout out to you, man. My guy, my guy, it's been amazing. Thank it's about you that much. time, man. Yes, sir. Um, as you know, if you come out for house, I know if you go studio, go record. So, I gotta do this every day. 6 p.m. every day. It's a daily thing. It's a daily show. As you can see, my people always come through for me. Uh, so your people go on Twitter and tell us thank you. Tell Mawili thank you. Um, use the hashtag the Dada Boy Show. You know what I mean? So uh, this is actually not good. They want to look your face. No, <laughs> it don't do. It don't do. Nobody should look at his face. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I said the that nobody should look at your face. Yes. Yeah, so um, yeah, man, go to Twitter. Twitter us that has uh, myself special slim. What's the Twitter, Mawili? Mali, Mali underscore, Mali underscore Gabor. Mawili underscore Gabor. Hmm, you see the name? Mawili underscore Gabor. Hey! Now the name, now the name, they fascinate you, it's a... Now the name, I did it, my guy. <laughs> my guy, not for a sec, my guy. Yo, um, my people, peace and love, yeah, thanks for coming through. Yeah? Yes, man. Take it easy. Yo, easy, bro.